Customs House expelled Meg from UK as caught snooping around Kensington Palace to harass the Cambridges. It's no surprise that Meghan is obsessed with the British royal family. From a best friend testifying on the wall of Meghan's dorm room with pictures of William, all the way to a dressing up and wearing the favourite perfume of Diana in order to trap Harry on their first date. But that's not enough. You've probably heard the story that Meghan used to prowl around the palace when she first dated Harry. She was even once escorted to the airport after she was caught sneaking around Kensington Palace to take pictures of the Cambridges. This story was told in the newspaper with different content. It wrote, Prince Harry personally escorted his girlfriend Meghan Markle to London's Heathrow Airport Sunday as five police protection officers flanked Harry, airline staff guided Meghan to a gate. The suit's actress, who kept warm in a $360 cashmere sweater, is believed to be spending holiday in North America, while her boyfriend will stay with his family in the UK. Meghan was laughing and smiling, but didn't say anything, an eyewitness says. When she arrived, she was last to board the flight. The actress arrived in Toronto a little after 10pm local time. She seemed tired due to the time difference, the source says, but she was pleasant enough. This is the PR article that Meghan bought to promote herself, but the truth is the opposite. She was sent back to the country while being kicked by Harry and was caught sneaking into the Cambridge's residence. Meghan basically spent a last penny getting to Skippy's wedding and needed Harry to acknowledge the relationship so she could get him to commit to more. Time and money wasn't on her side, apparently. They'd previously both been invited, but Harry went on his own. He was sitting talking to you. I think she was a model. Well, we've all seen the photos of Smeg's scowling face when she sat at the table. Some of the other guests said they heard the gruesome roasting chicken loudly on the balcony. So, once again, Harry was ensnared in Smeg's minge, never to be released again. They'd broken up before Skippy's wedding. Days after the event, Meg had been escorted to the airport after she was caught in the then Cambridge's apartments in Kensington Palace. Meghan was an interloper. What does snooping around the palace mean? Was she going into people's private apartments in the middle of the night? Was she opening people's drawers, closets or files? Or was she exploring public places and various meetings and party places in the palace? Crown jewels up for grabs, anyone? How could you sell them on the black market? And then when she came back to sign whatever the pit-stained brown sweater day, she got no further than Customs House and back she was, sent packing again. Oh, I've always believed they were thrown out but allowed to make up their own stories about why if they chose to speak. But I'm sure they were strongly urged it was in their best interests to keep their mouths shut about why they were in exile. They had the half in half out idea from the beginning. I think she kept Sunshine Sachs to lobby deals for her and invited all those celebrities to her wedding to get them on side. She used her extravagant taxpayer funded wedding to network. She was taking photos etc around the royal palace to sell by herself to people like Netflix and show the sort of access she had. She got sprung and that plus the staff bullying was the final straw. There was a massive blow up and it led to her taking off to Canada and Harry following. Certainly Megxit happened suddenly and before they had it all set up. Of course, apart from the bullying allegations, I have no proof at all of this, but I bet it happened something like that. 